Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And today I'm here to tell you about the 2018 Winnebago Winnie Drop 170K. It's a nice little bunkhouse model. Let's go ahead and start off right over here on the entertainment center. Uh, you'll see it's right next to the entry door and you have a great view of it from the large u dinette that I will show you a little bit later. But TV's right here that is connected to your multimedia center right up top. This unit is a radio CD and DVD player. The DVD part, portion of it is already pre-wired so you can just pop a movie in there if you want to watch one. Majority of your controls are right over here. You'll see your tank monitoring panel. You also have your slide out as well as your awning control here and then a switch for your interior and exterior lights. Right underneath, you have some good additional storage. They utilize the net system a lot in this RV, and I really like it because, again, it is really easy to get into anything that you have to grab. Then you have a fire extinguisher right down at the bottom in case of emergency. Right over here is your thermostat. Uh, this will control your heat. If you look right up top, you'll see this unit does have a ceiling mounted AC, which is super powerful for a unit this small. And then the controls for that are right there. Um, right beneath that is a power vent fan. This is actually your vent fan in your bathroom, but it is pretty nice because you just touch a button to open it up, turn it on, pretty convenient. Speaking of the bathroom, uh, we'll take a quick look at that, but before we do, I want to talk about the door here. Uh, when it comes to Winnebago, Winnebago towables, they have the best interior doors in the industry. And I know it seems silly to talk about doors, but I'm telling you, uh, they're actually framed out in wood here, and when you close them, they close like they should. They don't wiggle around a whole bunch. You know, they close each and every time. It doesn't pop back open. When you're out there RV shopping, play with some of the doors. You'll quickly see what I mean. But when we open that up, that will reveal our wet bath. You see the foot flush lever toilet there. The entire floor is your shower pan. Over to the side, you have a sink, your hand wand there going up top, the power vent fan I mentioned, an LED light. And then along the back, you have a little magazine rack there as a shower curtain will cover that up. Uh, this paper in here is meant to get wet. So don't worry about, you know, oh no, I'm, if I use a shower, it's gonna get the walls wet. It's absolutely fine. It is meant to uh, be wet. Then right back here, you'll see we have some good additional storage there. Same thing again, uses the net system, but you have storage going all the way down. Directly behind me are the two bunks. 250 pound weight limit on here, teddy bear bunk series, nice and smooth. LED lights there, window off to the side, and then an additional small little storage area right over here. You'll also see you have dual USB ports. So if you need to plug in some electronics, you know, rainy day, kids want to sit there and you know play with the iPad or cell phone, they're able to do that there. The other thing I love about this coach, this RV, it's nice and lightweight. It's only 2,800 pounds and you have a slide out here. So, you know, for being as, as small as it is, it's only uh, six and a half foot wide. You still have a lot of good space in here because of the slide out. You see you have a two burner cooktop, single bowl sink with a cover on here. Uh, it's kind of the saving grace in this kitchen because it gives you this as a prep space. Granted, you can use this back here, but chances are that's where you'll put a coffee maker if you're a coffee drinker because your electrical outlet is right there. Uh, the, the sink top cover here is cutting board quality. So if you want to flip it over, use it as a cutting board, by all means do so. That way your knife marks are in the bottom as well. So when you do cover it up, it stays looking nice for anyone that comes and visits. You see the storage here up top, nice decorative glass on there, LED light down below, big window right there. If we take a look at the storage underneath, you have uh, really good storage right here underneath the sink. And then next to that, two full extension ball bearing drawers. That way you have a place for your silverware and everything else like your large knives, uh, spatulas, and other utensils you will have in your kitchen. Convection microwave oven here. I think this is a great idea in a small RV like this. You get the two for one. That's why you get all this extra storage here. Uh, you know, because this is your microwave and your oven. Honestly, I like convection uh, to use it as well. It cooks faster than your standard oven and it's a heck of a lot easier to clean. As I mentioned, the dry weight or shipping weight on this unit is 2,800 pounds. Right underneath is your Dometic fridge freezer unit here. You see the little drop down freezer box. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has, <clears throat> excuse me, automatic switchover. 
you take a look up front, you have this large U-shaped dinette. I really like this. As I mentioned, you do have a good view to the TV from here, and it's plenty large that if you have uh, you know, the whole family sitting around and eating, you can enjoy a meal together, play a game together if you have friends. Uh, again, you can accommodate a lot of people in a small RV. This is also your primary bed. So to make up the bed, it's nice and easy. This table drops down and just pivots right here in the center of both the legs. It will then sit along the rails, take the cushions, fill it in on top, and that is large enough for two people to sit on, or to sleep on rather. You'll also notice you have windows on both sides for good cross ventilation. The one side here uh, is an emergency exit. And then right over there, you will see you have a dual USB port. So if you have to plug in any electronics at night, like your cell phone, you have a place to do it. Going across the top here, you have a nice shelf and then LED lights throughout the entire ceiling. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a quick look at some of the features on the outside of the 170K. So right here is where your 20 pound propane tank will go. Uh, it is with the RV, but the manufacturer doesn't ship it assembled. But as I mentioned, you will have one 20 pound tank. Right behind that are your rails for your battery there. Then coming up the front, it's a black diamond plating to help protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that get thrown up by your tow vehicle. Right down below is where your sewer hose will be stored. Uh, this unit doesn't have your traditional square bumper on it, so they give you a nice convenient storage spot right up front here. As we come around to the side, let's take a look at the outside storage. You'll see this is pretty good storage here. It actually cuts back a little ways. In fact, right here's your propane tank cover, as I promised. Hidden right over here, though, is your battery disconnect. That's really nice, too, because that way you don't have to constantly dig inside your battery box to disconnect when you're done camping you can just flip that switch and that will kill all power to the coach. Let's take a quick look underneath. So one of the nice things about the Winnie Drop is this is a huck bolt frame. If you're not familiar with a huck bolt frame, there are a couple unique advantages to it. One, the first place your frame tends to rust out at is right at that weld seam. So by eliminating that weld seam, there's less chance that the rust will develop there as quickly. Also, uh, with the huck bolts there, if you ever do have any kind of damage, if you get into an accident, it's a lot less expensive to have that replaced. The BAL jacks on here, the stabilizer jacks, are also a lot quicker to set up and tear down. Uh, they take a fraction of the turn, so you will certainly appreciate that when you're camping. That way you can get right into relaxing and having fun. This one is equipped with a power awning. Uh, that's pretty rare for an RV this size. Generally, they're manual, so having that power awning is nice. You'll also see there's an LED light strip that is sewn into the awning fabric. That way, it doesn't matter if the awning's out just a tiny bit or you have it fully extended, you can still utilize that LED light to shine down on your campsite. Foldable easy grab handle here to ensure that you have a good grip when entering or exiting the coach because you want to make sure you have control. The last thing in the world you want is to fall and hurt yourself. You also see right here you have an electrical outlet in case you need to plug anything in outside. This unit does have the upgraded larger 15 inch tire. So if you plan on doing some off-roading, this will give you extra ground clearance. You can see that this one is higher than most Winnie drops out there. Black tank flush right here, that is great too. Rather than having to take a hose, dragging it through the RV and sticking it down the toilet to wash out your black tank, you just hook the hose up right here. That black tank has sprayers built in and it washes it out for you. If we take a look underneath, this is for your spare tire. That's really easy to get to. That way you don't have to crawl underneath the RV. Hook the tool up right there. You can lower it right down. You'll also see two outside speakers there. Those are connected to your multimedia center inside. But again, that unit is Bluetooth capable. Take a quick look at the sidewall here too. As we've been going through, you can see the shine and luster that you have in here. And that's because Winnebago Tobles have one of the best sidewalls in the industry. This is T60 laminated fiberglass. What that essentially means is this comes in a big sheet rather than a roll. Uh, that way it's nice and sturdy. You don't see all the waves in it. And it's also a true poor gel coat exterior. The process in which they make this sidewall is fairly similar to how they make a lot of bolt holes. And if you're familiar with boats, you know that you can shine them, you can buff them, and they will keep that shine and luster. This is the same way. When you walk up to a Winnebago, you can see your reflection. I promise you that any other manufacturer of an RV this size, you will not have that. 
When you come around to the back side here, look at this, an outside kitchen. You have a short little bunk unit with an outside kitchen. This is awesome. You have a light here in case you're, you know, need to utilize this at night. TV mount, so you're able to watch TV out here, set your chairs up, that's great. You see the faucet does have hot and cold access on there. Two burner cooktop here as well. And then you have some additional storage right behind that. Again, they utilize the net system. You know, if you wanna put some paper plates in here, it's a great spot for it. And then you have the refrigerator right down below. That way, you know you have a spot for your uh, condiments as well as your beverages, whether it's pop, uh, beer, whatever it may be, you have a spot for it there. This is your propane quick connect. Now its main intent is to hook up your two burner cooktop here. However, if you have a grill, you can set your grill up here and hook it up right there too. That way you're feeding off your 20 pound bottle instead of having to buy the small little green ones. Right over here on the off door side, we'll see a couple last things. 30 amp detachable power cord. Right here is where your terminations are. You can see your black and gray valve there. This is your slide out and built into your slide out, you have an outside shower with both hot and cold access there as well. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2018 Winnebago Winnie Drop 170K. This particular unit has the platinum exterior with the mineral interior. If you're interested in this RV and you'd like price and availability, I recommend you give us a call here at American RV, or you can take a look at our website, which is AmericanRV.com. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.